Let's add our implant now. First, go to Settings and download your preferred implant system from the Implant Library. Click on Add Tooth and Mark Assign Implant. Select the tooth you will be working on. As you can see, a virtual tooth is placed automatically in its position. Then choose the implant you will use, and also with one click the implant is automatically positioned. Check your implant position all around centric and tangential lines. You can find all the implant info here in the implant card or by pressing right click on the implant itself where you can name the implant and edit it. Same for adding abutments. You can also edit its dimensions easily with the same steps as editing implant. Now, let's have a look at the other features included in the implant planning tab. You can measure the distance you want on any 2D view, except the panoramic view using the Add Measurement tool. Click on the measurement button. The cursor will be changed to a ruler with a cross shape. Click the first point to start measuring, then click the second point to calculate the measurement. The distance between the two points will be measured and shown beside the line. You can also add comments using the Annotations tool. while navigating through the 3D reconstructed model. You can hide any object by deactivating its icon. Also, you can hide models by making them invisible from Models tab. You can clip the 3D volume from an axial, cross-sectional, and free direction. Mark the direction you want and use your mouse scroller. You can also reverse the clipped area easily. When planning multiple implants, you can measure the angle between them. Select the first one, then hold on Control button and select the other. Click on Measure Angle button, and the measurement will instantly appear on the 3D view. You may need to make a parallel relation between them. Select the implant you want to preserve its angulation, then hold on Control button and select the other, then click Make Parallel button, and it will be automatically adjusted. after adjusting your implant position. Now you are ready to position fixation pins and sleeves for your guide.